Hi, my name is Triphosphate, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a template, and I'm going to do it in less than 10 minutes. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an FPC as my drum rack here, set it to empty, and I'm going to go ahead and assign... Well, no, let's go ahead and move on uh, and create my uh, buses. So here we go. Here's my FPC. And from inserts one to six, I'm gonna go ahead and make my buses. So drums, I'm gonna color these red. Okay, one, two is gonna be the sub. Three is gonna be my bass. Four is going to be music. And for music, I basically mean anything that's not the, uh, the sub, the bass, or the lead. Uh, basically, or mid-range synths. Uh, lead and effects. So there we go. I've got six buses all feeding into the master uh, and I'm going to go ahead and start with my drum tracks. Uh, first with the sidechain track which is what I'm going to use to trigger sidechains later. And then let's see, I'm going to go ahead and make a kick track colored green and here I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this template or save this uh, mixer state, name it drum kit and now I can open up this, go to Mixer Presets, and I'm going to just gr drag this same preset across uh, for as many as I need. I still have to go ahead and do all the routing uh, right here. And one more. That'll do. Uh, so kick, this one's going to be the snare. This one's going to be for hats. This one's going to be for ride cymbal. This one's going to be for the crash symbol, and this last one is going to be for a uh, second crash symbol, some alternate. Uh, now, I know I'm going to want some drum loop spots, so go ahead and uh, add two more of these and name it loop one. And uh, another one is going to be loop two. And as you can see, they've all been routed to the drum bus, where I might later add some kind of compressor or something. So let's go to the FPC, and we're going to assign each one of these to a mixer state as it should be. So the first one's going to be for kick, so 8 right here. Snare is 9. Hat is 10. Ride, 11. And the last two up here are going to be the crash symbol for 12 and 13. Now, as I said, we're going to be using some loops in uh, a lot of our work, so we know we're going to want to add a slice X to the channel here. So, insert, slice X, here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and clone it. And let's go ahead and put these in their, the right order. Uh, move these up. And I'm going to uh, right click or F2 to rename uh, and name it loop 1 and route it to its appropriate insert and this one will be loop 2 and also route it as I should. Now basically this makes it so anytime I, I want to add a loop I can really just drop drag it from my uh, browser uh, into the slice X and it's already been routed and named and organized and colored and just save myself a little bit of time so let's go ahead and add our next track. The next one is going to be uh, my sub. So it's going to be a 3x oscillator. Uh, and I'm going to turn down two of the oscillators. So I'm just using one. Turn down its octave on sine. And that should be it for sub. So let's rename this sub and color it appropriately, blue. And now I'm going to add some more channels. Let's see, we need. Uh, sampler from here on out basically all the others are going to be samplers empty placeholders um, that I will later when I'm actually making the song I will replace uh, each of these with whatever VST I feel like using at the time and uh, just like the loops uh, everything is already going to be routed for me uh, and colored and organized so base yellow there we go and now we're going to clone now to you can right click and hit clone and you can also uh, click on a selected channel and hit uh, Alt C. So let's go ahead and route these. The sub, these go to base. And what I do here is I use I right click and hit uh, link uh, selected channels to this track. 
or you could just hit Control L and very quickly it automatically names and colors them exactly like the channels so Control L Control L and route these to the base channel uh, so now all of the bases go into one bus where I might want to add some kind of distortion unit or, or compressor to make them all sound like they're coming from the same place so uh, let's go ahead and add music tracks now like I said music is gonna be anything that's not my sub my bass or my lead mm, all my mid-range synths basically and uh, let's clone them and let's go ahead and link each of these and route them to their appropriate bus just like I did with the uh, the bass lines uh, let's go ahead route all these link and route and link and route now the reason I do this template is because it's gonna save me a lot of workflow time I'm basically gonna be able to uh, drop instruments in and uh, fiddle around with them and come up with something creatively without ever having to stop my creative flow uh, to do any of these menial organizational and routing tasks uh, let's go ahead and add these are going to be our lead, so rename them lead one, and it's going to be orange. There we go. And clone it because I want a second one. And now we go ahead and we link these to their appropriate channels right after music and route them so they feed into the lead bus. All right, so now I go ahead and double check everything's been routed to where it belongs. And okay, let's add some more. Let's add four effects tracks while we're at it. Since I haven't yet, we'll go ahead and use these uh, to add any downlifters, uplifters, uh, reverse cymbals, uh, sweeping sounds, white noise, what have you. Uh, anything that doesn't fall into the other categories is pretty much gonna be an effect. So go ahead and link these to the appropriate channel. And now I route them to their own bus, like I did with all the others. And there we go. Now I, I still have about two and a half minutes left of my deadline, so let's go ahead and uh, add some stuff. We're going to do the side chain, which is going to receive from the kick here, uh, and it's going to uh, side chain output to this limiter here on the subtrack, for example. So we click here, sidechain to this track, uh, open up the compressor, activate it to sidechain, and I turn down the threshold all the way and ratio up all the way, and then I tweak the release to get it to sound the way I want. So uh, I'm not adding these actual effects in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and start naming my sends. Two of them are gonna be for reverb, um, and two of them are gonna be for delay. What I usually do is I have one regular uh, delay um, and one spot delay, which is basically I would automate the send amount to that one for the end of phrases, like uh, the end of a vocal phrase, for example. And uh, still got a tiny bit of time, so let's go ahead and uh, finish our sidechain track and test it. Uh, so what I do, uh, I use a, a plugin that I'm very fond of called the Flux Bittersweet, um, which basically uh, is a transient enhancer and it's absolutely free you can look it up online uh, I recommend it um, and I'm going to add that in here and what it's gonna do is it's gonna enhance the uh, the attack of my kick drum and we're not gonna hear it but it's gonna affect the way the sidechain works so uh, and then I add a noise gate uh, almost all the way up to the top so we're only capturing the attack of the kick uh, and we're going to go ahead and route that let me go ahead and add a drum now, see? Okay, just grab whatever kick drum we can, drop it in, uh, and then we're going to uh, add some kind of sub line right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop these into the sequencer to test if our side chain is working the way it should. Let's go ahead and add a four to the, four four to the floor kick pattern right here 
and drop these into the sequencer and then let's hit play and let's go ahead and see if our sub is ducking and it is our sidechain is working the way it should uh, perfect so that's basically how to design a template in less than 10 minutes uh, if you like the video uh, go ahead and like it uh, and subscribe for more and I will see you next time